William Wamara Wagoire is my name. I'm the director of the National Coffee Research Institute, which is abbreviated as NACORI. And in our operations, we work with many partners, including Cafe Africa, Uganda Coffee Development Authority, Operation Wealth Creation, the district, the district local governments through their production officers, and so on. At this moment, we are here in Rubirizi district, where we are prompted to take more interest through a presentation that was made to Cafe Africa when a project on coffee was being launched, funded, financed by Cafe Africa. We are told of success stories of the use of narrow technologies in Rubirizi, which we have been told has increased its coffee production of recent. However, during that presentation, it was brought to our notes that they have a problem with black coffee twig borer, which is one of the notorious insects affecting robusta coffee in this country. We started realizing the volumes of coffee going down. Every other season, we saw coffee volumes going down. I wanted to, to know the reason why coffee volumes were going down. And in further inquiry, we realized that there was a pest that was attacking the coffee trees. So when we went to the field and engaged the district agriculture office or the district production office, we learned that there was a pest in the, names of, in the name of black twig borer. It was first detected in Uganda in 1993 in a district called Bundibujo, located in the extreme west of the country bordering Congo. And because of that, we believe it could have entered the country through Congo. At present, the country loses 10% of its coffee production to the black coffee tree borer, which amounts to a loss of US dollars, 45 million, the national income money from coffee exports. The biggest problem with this pest, the coffee, the black coffee tree borer, is that it has a very wide host range. Worldwide, it's reported that it can attack more than 200 species of plants. In Uganda alone, research shows that it can attack up to 50. And unfortunately, these are the, the, the plants which are grown with the coffee. For example, it's becoming a very important pest in, on cocoa. And uh, in a district like uh, Chivale, we have found out that it's even more of a problem on cocoa than coffee. And also Mayuge is uh, following suit. We have done sensitization. We have carried out trainings to farmers on how to manage this notorious pest. And Nakori together with Cafe Africa, they have carried out trainings on to come up with coffee specific extension worker. However, that the farmers through accessing knowledge accruing from Nakori related activities with you, with Cafe Africa. Uh, the, and this includes um, training manuals that we are developed concurrently with Cafe Africa and UCDA. The farmers in Rubirizi were managing this black coffee twig borer very well and we thought it was worth looking at it. So from that we learned that the, there are two possible solutions to the, to the problem. Either cutting down the trees and burning them, or spraying them with the imidacropid. So a farmer, a coffee farmer, should also look and see if there is any wilting of coffee, they should check. And for BCTB, it's seen by, you cannot see it by the small hole which is made by the twig borer as it enters into the twig. So when you see that, you cut off, you don't break. 
you cut off that and you burn. Don't cut away the whole stem. We want to encourage farmers in Rubirizi to adopt the new technologies that we have advanced through the training manuals which we have provided with our colleagues in Cafe Africa. One of these is utilizing sustainable land management options which can lead to optimum utilization of available water and will stop soil erosion. We want to commend them for the off effort that they are making in ensuring that they increase coffee production, which feeds very well in the national target of 20 million bags by the year 2025.